magnolias, there's about 340 varieties of them. I would choose a variety that was local. Uh, they represent purity, love of nature, and a host of other things. They've been around for a long, long time, like 3,000 years. These would be made out of rolled steel. The rolled steel then connects with stainless steel. It's powder coated, uh, UV coated. The little Q-tip like shapes, cast in bronze. The stamens inside, also cast in bronze. But they would be lighted from within, just a real soft, clean, kind of a yellow light. Not a bright yellow to interfere with uh, somebody thinking it was a yellow light that was like traffic related. Um, it is a, uh, a work that's meant to be uplifting. It takes the ordinary and makes it extraordinary. And I like that concept. Um, I, I think it'd be very beautiful. The uplighting is nine fixtures. They're in the ground, so you can't see them from the road. Um, I often tell people what I like about sculpture in general is the outline. It's interesting to look at, how the positive and negative shapes work together. Um, and is it something you want to, we, you'd be happy to drive by. So um, I want to thank you all for letting me make my presentation. There's some details about how this is assembled here. There's an art statement if you uh, want to learn more about my career. We've got about 1,400 sculptures out there in the real world, uh, 45 states, seven countries, and they own some very nice real estate. So I'm pleased to present. Do we have any questions? Okay, you guys are an easy crowd. Thank you very much for allowing me to present my work. Uh, the term I'd like to leave you with is WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get in stainless steel and common steel. Um, and having said that, I'm gonna say thank you. And we're gonna turn it over to the next sculpture. Thank you.